Shalom, Shalom. This is Amawan for the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah. Coming at you guys with another lesson. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Akwafim, and to the anyone that's out there listening. All right. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Father and the Son in their holy proper names. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha. Rakah Kodash, my mouth. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. And citations to the Akim that's pushing this truth diligently around the four corners of the earth. All right. I also want to do a double honors to my elders as well of the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah. All right. And I'm just going in on, on this topic um, about Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Sending out, sending out his word, all right? And his word has been sent, all right? And what he said, and what he said that has been said is not going to be coming back to him void, like it says in the scriptures, all right? His word was sent out, all right, through his prophets, through his saints, all right? All right? Now, with that being said, the prophets, the, the prophets are out on the highways and byways, you know, prophesying, all right, you know, giving warning, you know, telling the people that needs to hear it, the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel, they're telling the people about what's to come, what's about to happen, all right, telling them that destruction is coming, all right, and also that a new kingdom is coming as well, all right. And also the 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 the, uh, the beginning of the end, all right, all right. And also the end of the beginning, you know, Esau, which is ruling right now, is is being translated to the the people of Israel, all right. His power is being decreased, you know, dis dissimulated, all right. Which is we're gonna be transferred, all right. We're gonna be translated into the higher powers again, all right, through the hands of Yahweh Shah, man. All right, when he come back to render his anger on this place, man. When he come back to take back what's his, man. All right. But I'm not going to go on about, I'm not going to ramble alone. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. All right, because the word was sent, you know. The sent, it was sent out to his saints, all right, to his, his, to his chosen people. All right, to the ones that wanted to hear, the ones that sought. Him, you know, that sought his name, that, you know, was looking for redemption, that was looking for salvation, that is looking for salvation, man, you know, and that's the hope for your elect, man, and, you know, one third of the nation of Israel, man, that, that truly believes in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, all right, they're the ones that's going to be able to get it, they're the, they're the ones that's going to be able to hearken and, and, and uh, you know, endure into the end, all right, that have that faith, man. You know. So this this beautiful gift, man, this beautiful, you know, treasure that the most I have sent out for us, man, you know, for us to make a way out, for us to be released from the, the chains of darkness, man. For us to be, you know, free from, from the darkness, man, free free from the wickedness, man. You know, to be brought back up to the, the righteous side, man. He's setting it out for us to, to grasp, for us to understand who he is, man. You know. I'm going to go ahead and get into this. This is Isaiah 55 and 9. All right. It says, for as the heavens are higher, are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Come, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, is, is the whole creator of everything, man. You know, the earth, you know, the heavens, the, the heavens, all right? So, you know, they're the ultimate creators, man, you know? And how they operate things, man, it's not, it's not equal or it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's nowhere close to how, how we think, man, you know? So what it says, verse 10, it says, For as the rain cometh down in the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, kind, 
because man, the, 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 the word, the, the, the knowledge, the wisdom and understanding is, 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 is uh, purified water, man. All right. From the heavens, man. That's the pure water. It's as far as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but the water, but water of the earth and make of it bring forth in bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the either. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. But it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent. God, man. So the word that he sent, all right, that, that comes from out of his mouth, man. You know, it says it's not going to return to him void, man. All right. And what he says, and what he said will be done, man. You know, thus said the Lord, man. You know, so he said that, you know, he was going to come back and get us, man. He said that he was going to, you know, put us back in, in our in our righteous place, man. You know, he said that he's going to tr tread Esau under his foot, man. You know. So, you know, a higher, the higher powers, Yahweh Barsham, Yahweh Shah, the Father and the Son, man, they sent out this word for us, man, so we can be able to accomplish what he said he wanted to do, man. You know, he already have his chosen seed. He already have his chosen few. You know, that he wants to be sealed, man. All right. So I'm going to go up to uh, uh, Psalms 107, verse 20. It says, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. It's kind, man. So this this word that he sent out is, is for us, is, is for us, man. It's to save us, man. You know, to save us from this this upcoming destruction that's coming, man. You know, because if you don't take hold into this this understanding of what he says, man, you know, because what it says, the acronyms of Bible, it says basic instructions before leaving earth, man. So if you don't get it right now, all right, you know, it's going to be a tough time, you know. It's going to be a tough time for, for all of us, man. Jacob's trouble, man. You know, at the same time, man, he says he's going to deliver us from out of our distresses. He's going to deliver us from out of our, our you know, temptations, man, you know, or anything that may be upon us, man, you know, especially when we cry, you know, especially, especially when we cry out unto him, you know, because what the scripture says in um, Psalms 36 and 1, it says, fret not, fret not thyself because of, uh, because of evildoers, man, you know, so we, we, we ought to not be afraid of the evildoers or anyone else. You know what I'm saying? But to fear Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shah, man, because they're the ones that's going to be our shield and our buckler, man. You know? But back at verse 20 of, of Psalm 107, it says, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Come, man. Amen. You know, he's doing that now, man. You know, as we speak, man. Amen. You just. You gotta be faithful unto him, just like how, just just like how they they are faithful unto us, man. We gotta be faithful unto death, man. You know, work out that self. That's Shalak. It says, work out that uh, thy own. Shalak. It says, work out that own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know, so we gotta fear him, man. You know, and, and, and at the same time, continue into his word. You know, continue into the labor, man. So what it says in verse twenty one, it says, oh. That men would praise the Lord Yahweh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. God. And the children of men is, is from the, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It says, And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with, 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 with rejoicing. So, God, we don't do the, the, the sacrificing of, 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 uh, of, a, of, a, of an animal uh, like lamb uh, we don't do that type of sacrifice anymore right? we, we do the sacrifice of uh, 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 putting our bodies of a, you know using our body as a living sacrifice man you know going out on the highways and byways man you know giving up that spiritual sacrifice man you know teaching our people man giving them that bread man the bread and the water man so kind of says and let them 
It's just and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of Thanksgiving, man. Cause come, we we giving thanks to our Father by by doing the work. All right, you know. It says and, and declare His works with the with, with with rejoicing, man. So come, man. We have to also be rejoiced. We have to be joyful. You know what I'm saying? We ought to be joyful. All right, you know, and happy, man, to get to give that charity to our people, man, to be, you know. Astoundingly, you know, glad to, 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 to tell our people that their transgressions and to get them to, you know, repent and to turn back to the Father, man, you know. Because those that seek Him, seek Him now, man, shall find Him, man, and it's gonna be a wonderful thing once you, once you, once you, once you hear His wonderful name, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man, you know. It says, verse twenty three. It, uh, um, verse 22 it says and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing they that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters the ones that, that they go down you know in, in, in the highways and byways you know going fishing man fishing fishing for the whole free let man you know it says that they do business in great waters man because that's you know, uh, you know, in this truth, man. You know, you, you treat this this truth like a business, a business, man. Your house job's business, man. You know, through order, man. All right. So, the point I was making is that, you know, we are to take hold onto what what's been sent. You know, grasp it, man. You know. What the scripture says in Proverbs, all right, it says, "With all like with all thy getting, get understanding, man. You know, wisdom is the principal thing, man. And His word has been sent, and that's the ultimate wisdom, man. That's the ultimate treasure, you know. So, with all thy getting, get understanding. All right. So this is Saint John." Chapter 6. I'm going to go down to verse 26. All right. And this is about the story about when Yahawashah turned uh, some loaves of bread. All right. Let me go to it. It's when Yahawashah had took five barely loaves. Verse 9. All right. He took five barely loaves and two small fishes, and he turned them into many, many fish and many loaves of bread for 5,000 people. All right. But I'm going to go down to the scriptures, man. Hey, but that's a, that's a wonderful work. That's, that, that's, that shows you what you have by you know, has. They have that power, man. They have that ultimate power. You know, things they can do with miracles, man. You know, in due time they gon' they gonna show they they're they gonna show they might again, all right, through the hands of his prophets as well, man. You know. So we're gonna be able to see the miracles and he also gonna let us do miracles as well, man. You know, those that truly believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So I'm gonna go to verse twenty six. It says Yahweh it says Yahweh Shah answered them and said, Verily, verily I say unto you, ye seek me. Not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the blows and were filled, you know. And that's how most of our people are nowadays, man. Especially, uh, you know, Jake, man. You know, two thousand five people. They they seek to eat, you know, that the uh to to be filled, but they don't they they don't eat to to be satisfied with their spirit, man. You know, they they eat to feed the flesh, man. You know, like my elders say. You know, he says, "What well, feed the feed the spirit and start the flesh, man." They they they, they, they so you know. I would say, uh, impatient. You know, they want everything right now, man. You know, they don't want to satisfy their soul, man. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go to verse twenty-seven, man. You know, because what it says, it says, "Labor not for the meat which perisheth." But for the meat which endure for to everlasting life. So our people that they don't want that everlasting meat. They don't want, you know, the uh 
the eternal, eternal uh, gift, man. You know, they want this meat that's going to perish, man. All right. And this, and this meat that's is perishing right now as we speak, man. You know, they, the, the labor is going to be few, you know, real, real soon, man. You know, they got this job being pushed out, mandatory. <coughs> Should lock it. They got this job being pushed out. All right. They're doing door to door. All right. You know. And it's going to be a time to where they're going to make it to where you can't work if you don't have that job, man. Hey, so that, that the grind is going to be really, really low, man. Hey, man. So if you put your trust in this, in this, in this meat, this, this earthly meat, all right, you're going to fall with it, man. You're going to be destroyed with it, man. Hey, cause the cares, the cares of this life, man, is is not, it's not righteous, man. Let me get that scripture real quick. Hey, this is Mark chapter four, verse nineteen. It says, "In the cares of this world, in the in the deceitfulness of riches, in the lust of other things, enter in, choke the word, and it become of unfruitful, man." Hey man, so you know you you, you want to be a part of that vineyard, man. You would you you would put your you would put yourself in a in a holy uh, congregation, man. You know, being set apart, man. You know, the willing with you know wisdom, man. You know, a wise counsel, man. Versus uh this foolish, the foolishness of our people, man. Our people are dwelling in folly, in folly, man. You know, which is foolishness, man. You know, but if you're a part of this world, it says what? In the cares of this world, in the in the deceitfulness of riches, in the lust of other things, enter in, choke the word, man. So if you you can't serve them, you can't serve your howl, you know. You, what the scripture says, it says you uh you can't serve two masters, you know. Let me get that too. <laughs> All right, but you know before I get that, it also says it's, it, it, you know. You know, you're letting those things in. It says it's gonna choke the word, and you become unfruitful, man. So I mean, you, you'll be, you'll become useless, man. Yeah, how about you, y'all? Shout, cast you away, man. All right. All right. This is Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-four. It says, "No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one." And love the other comment. So, you know, you can't serve two masters, man. You know, it's either you're going to love this world or you're going to hate this world, man. You know, it's either you're going to love your howl and hate this world or you're going to love this place and hate your howl about some y'all was shot, man. So what it says, no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve your howl in men. <coughs> So that was the point I was making on that. All right. So. All right. So what it says back on twenty seven says, "Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him." Have your how the father seal, and it's back at Saint John chapter six verse twenty seven, or verse twenty eight. It says, "Then said they unto unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of your how?" And that's what the the hope for you let. That's what the the hundred and forty four thousand and the one third of the you know shalaki. That's the the hundred and forty four thousand man. You know that's asking. You know your how about some you You know what to do. You know. To be able to be redeemed, man, to be able to be crowned in, in due time. It says, Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of Yahweh? Yahweh shot answered and said unto them, This is the work of Yahweh, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. Con. It says, They said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What doest thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it as it is, as it is written, he have he have Shalak, it says he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Yahweh said unto them, 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, <coughs> shall not you, but my father give you, but my father giveth you the true bread from heaven. Come, man. It says, for, for the bread of Yahweh is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Con. So, Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shah is the word, man. Yahweh, Yahweh has sent Yahweh Shah, you know, to, for, for us, man, to redeem us, man. Because what the scripture says in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, that no man shall buy you, man, you know. And Yahweh Shah is the only one that can, you know, redeem us, man, you know. So, with that being said, man, you know, seek, seek the word, man. Seek the word that's been sent out for us. <coughs> seek him now while he is found, man. Seek, seek the seek, seek his knowledge, man. Seek his understanding. Seek who he is. Seek who you are, man. You know, we're not African, man. You know, we're not black. You know, we are Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, with that being said, I want to say Shalom. Call Halayim Law. Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Hope this lesson was edifying. And shalom.